So on the 13th of Feb 2024, NVIDIA have released a tech demo, which means that basically anyone with a 30 series or 40 series GPU, RTX GPU, so that's current gen 40, previous gen 30, can utilize uh, a chatbot on their local PC. So yeah, this came out on the 13th of Feb. Um, but what it's supposed to allow you to do, you download this tech demo, which is 35 gig. Um, it is eight gig of VRAM. So I've got 3070, which has got eight gig. So that should be all good. It allows you to download the model, run it on your PC, and it should be able to sort of inventory the files on your local machine and then you can interrogate it, I guess, would be the word, using um, a text interface and it'll go away, it'll go away and do stuff for you, a bit like ChatGPT does. So I've set it downloading, it's taking its time, it's taking its sweet time, um, and then I'll cut back in when I've downloaded it and then I'll go through the installation. So I've got the file downloaded. Uh, let's extract this. Let's go desktop. Right, so that's done. So here's what it's given me, a few folders and a setup.exe. Well, we're going to click that now, aren't we? Software license agreement. Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, custom install options. Let's go with this. Chat with RTX. Mistral 7B. Uh, yeah, let's perform a clean install. Where are we going to put it? Yeah, that'll do. There we go installed let's go for it launch the chat with RTX application let's see what happens So, Windows Security, do you want to allow public and private networks to access this app? Python? Yeah, no worries at all. So it's pulling down some extra bits. Model.safe-tensors, a JSON file, readmes. Cool. Let's give me some little queries here, sample questions. How does NVIDIA ACE generate emotional responses? What is Portal Prelude RTX? What's important about Half-Life 2 RTX? When is the launch date for Ratchet & Clank? Rift Apart on PC. See, I have that installed, so I don't know if it's sort of looked at what's on my desktop. Is Portal installed? I don't know if this is specific to me or it does this to everyone. All right, so it's going ahead, pulling down more JSON files and configs. There we are. This is the this is the juicy stuff. I can close that. So, oh, default data set is a sampling of articles recently published on GeForce News. So it's nothing to do with me. That's good. Select the AI model. Fine. That's what we got. Data set, text, PDF, and doc files are supported. Okay. Folder path. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go and find some, a folder which has some sample text, PDFs and docs in it. And then I'm going to give it some chatage. So what I've done, I've created a little temp folder and I've put in some spec sheets and a, a text file with some, well, just some banal information I've written. 
seven dogs in the kennel, 100 chickens in the coop, and the dogs ate the chickens. So it's like a little story. We'll see. We'll see if um, we can ask questions about this. Obviously, in a in a larger environment, you'd have hundreds of text files, but this is just my personal PC. So let's point ChatGPT. So let's point the chat with RTX local installation. Let's point that at that folder. So let's go here. PC. Temp files. Select folder. Okay. Does that do anything? Slowing down now, so it must be doing something. Yeah. Performance is hit hard. So I imagine it's quite um, a heavy process until it's finished learning or training itself, I'm guessing. So it's calmed itself down a bit now, but this GPU is still, uh, still working pretty hard. So, yeah, so the model's running, the GPU's working quite hard. Yeah, look, so it's done a load of work in the background. Okay, so let's chat with RTX. Well, let's start with some. Four hours later, I didn't realize OBS and the GPU um, and chat with RTX were all fighting. And it wasn't actually recording anything, um, so it didn't work very well. So I've now moved to OBS to a different PC with a capture card. So we'll, we'll see if this is any better. So I'm just going to have a little play, a quick play with chat with RTX, just see what it's capable of. Again, my data, put some sample data in a temp file, some spec sheets relating to some infrastructure hardware, and a little test file with some simple text sentences in. I will just see what chat with RTX can do. So obviously be polite, first thing to do, say hello. Oh, hello, how can I assist you today? Cool. Um, what I'm gonna do, first of all, is just have a look at one of these spec sheets and just pick a little factoid from it and see if it can um, give me the right answer back. So I'm gonna ask it, an easy one. How many rack you does an R750 use? We're not the right English, but there you go. Dell, all right, draft 750 is two rack server. Perfect, that's correct. Um, let's go and choose something else. So let's go and choose. <clears throat> so this is about a, a Dell power store storage appliance. Let's talk to it about this from 5200, I was choosing any of them. What's the memory in a 5200? See, the way it passes it, it might sort of struggle, but we'll see. 5200, 1152 GB. So it's getting the 500T model, but it's not got that. So that's probably not fair because it's it's not exactly in a straight line. It doesn't know that that relates to that. Okay, let's pick something out of the text instead. Okay, up to four appliances may be combined per scale out cluster. How many appliances can be configured? Apologies for the typing, I've got a broken wrist. N A scale out the cluster. Oh god. Yeah. There you go. So it's got that bit. Fair enough. So let's have a look at the the sort of temp data that I added in this test file. So and see if it can sort of do a bit of logic with this. So how many dogs are there? There were seven dogs in the kennel, correct. How uh, many chickens? Uh, 
Uh, many chickens in the coop. 100 chickens in the coop. What happened to the chickens? So with this model, I'm not sure how it's sort of how like capable it is of, of using human language and sort of <clears throat> grabbing context from it so it can then, you know, apply humanized logic, if you like, to what I'm asking it. Uh, let's ask another one. What ate the chickens? What did the dogs do? Dogs ate chickens. So it's sort of pretty useful. It's pretty clever in that it's like picking up bits of the questions I'm asking it. Maybe I'm not asking the right questions. And it's, it's, it's taking the next sort of logical step with that. So I can see how this would be quite useful. Um, and the cool thing is it's, it's obviously putting all the workload onto the GPU, on, onto the graphics card. So definitely worth a play. I think I'll come back to it and play with it some more. Maybe they'll release some different models at some point that we can play with. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty good introduction to a local chatbot.